Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Next week it'll be the first Sunday of the month, so next week is going to be the prize draw. As quite a few more names come in. If you want to enter the competition, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my email up there. And all I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. It's drawn out. If you win the prize, I'll post it off anywhere in the world completely free of charge and there is some nice prizes to be won right this week's nightcap it's a bit of a mixed bag really there's a little bit of machining uh, I do a bit of welding unfortunately the arc welding shots didn't come out very good yesterday I had a day away with my friend Richard and we took his centre steam wagon out for a run I'll show a little bit of that I'm getting on quite well with the Stuart Turner steam engine um, I've got more video to go up it'll be tomorrow night um, I've basically got it all apart now. Um, I'm going to start cleaning the parts up and repairing parts and assembling parts. Um, I can't see there being anything really that's going to stop us from putting it back together. Anyway, more of that tomorrow night. Any farmlands out there that recognise this is a blade of a deep plough. These wear away and they're very expensive. The lads had some made, they've made a decent job of them, except what they've done is they've made the shape of that hole wrong. That hole actually looks worn, but it's not, that's the shape it's supposed to be. So if I compare that one, so one he's had made, you can see that this piece of material here needs to be removed. He's been having to go over the die grinder, but it would take forever. So what I'm going to do is make a paper template for that one, mount in the mill machine and just do a bit of sort of hand CNC, jiggle the X and Y axis and see if I can remove some of that metal for them. First thing is to make a, a paper template for that. This is a little bit like making a, a joint for a steam engine I suppose. I'm going to turn that round here that way because I'm left handed. Just a little bit of cardboard, that's all we're using. Okay, so we've got two straight edges. Right, so that's a pretty good representation of the, what we actually need. Right. This is actually thicker material, a lot thicker. It's had a lot of weld reinforcements on it, a lot of hard facing. So that goes on there like that. And you can clearly see, or at least I can clearly see, there's a big lump to come out of there. The shape's near, but it's not near enough. It needs that part there machining out. In fact, my big Makita die grinder will probably remove that. I'll give it a try with the grinder first just to see what sort of effect it has before we... There's not a great lot to come out. This is just one of the cheap Banggood cutters, we'll give it a try. That's 
sitting right over there. Do you know you? I think all I'll do, I'll just lend them the tool and heating. Because there's actually 40 of these to do. I'm not standing around 40 of these. is a sketch for a, a camera mount it's basically a piece of this aluminium tube with a flange welded on the end drilling top quarter you can see to take a standard camera mount and on the other end of the tube is a shorter piece of tube that will slide over the top of this I'm going to do this end first I've got some aluminium bar I can get out of I'm sure 50 down that the size is not critical the quarter you can see is the only critical size and I'll probably put a heli coil in there because the quarter here when saying aluminium is fairly weak and it will strip eventually. So we'll see if we can find a bit of aluminium, turn the flange, drill it top it, put a heli coil in. I'll probably put a little shoulder on so it fits inside that tube and then weld it on. I'm just going to address the end of this tube up first. square it up and take the, the rag off it. Very pleasant stuff, that's very draggy. This is the drill for the heli coil, it's actually 6.7, which gives you the right size hole for the heli coil top. Plenty of depth there. This is the actual thread repair kit. You've got the drill, tap, insulation tool, and then a little heli coil insert. Tool there for snapping the little tang off at the end. The next thing to do is to put the special heli coil tap in. A little bit of WD40 type of lubricant is ideal for aluminium. Yeah, that's 
just a little insert. These come in various lengths, 1D, 2D and 3D. These are 2D which is twice the diameter. That simply screws into there. You don't need to put any locking compound or anything on. You need to glue the surface, which we are there. And this little tool simply knocks a tag off the end. It's got a magnet on and they normally come out, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to part this off anyway. So that's far enough in there that I can put a centre in to be able to part that off without it all chattering and going tits up on us. put it in quite deep enough for that centre but that one it's not deep enough either so we're going to have to part it off sticking out that far annoying but not the end of the world I'll put a little shampoo on here first just to break that edge It's square to the, to the job, which it is there. We we'll want 15 mil from the end. It's not super accurate, but it's it there. Before I tighten the headstock bearings up on this lid, there's no way it would have parted that off without not it. Chapman, that's how you break a tip. Bastard. This last batch of tips I got from Banggood are nowhere near as good as the, the first lot I got. I'll have to get some more. The end wobbling slightly, it's not going to look true, would it not? It's going to a different color I need it for. Shampoo on the end. So again, checking for clearance. Excellent, that's what we need. I just want to put a tack on this and then I'll put it to a 
possibly the world position at and then get the other camera so I can a little bit of video of the world. Earth on the bench first because it always works much better with an earth. Two good tacks on. Set it up now. Well, it's 